are. Well, what can Standard Air and do? Well, the answer is in the international context, nothing. You know, nobody will pay that much attention to what Ireland does. But the reason I looked for a recall of the Senate was because I remember being in Palestine some years ago uh, in an area that was heavily controlled by the Israelis, and I said to my Palestinian hosts, you know, there's nothing I can do. You know, I will have no effect. And they said, but at least you will be a witness. You will be a record to our suffering, and we will not go unnoticed. And it's for that reason that I called for the recall of the Senate. I'm very sad. I mean, I'm not anti-Israeli, I'm not anti-Semitic, uh, I support the State of Israel, but in the 40 years I've known the State of Israel and sometimes had a home there, I've seen it completely change. It changed from a left-wing, socially directed uh, country to an extreme right-wing regime that is behaving in the most criminal fashion and defying the world and using, unscrupulously using the Holocaust to justify what they're doing, and it's time that rag was torn away from them. Israel is afraid of Palestinian unity. That's what all this is about. It has nothing to do with the murder, which is appalling of those uh, three is is Israeli kids. It's nothing to do with it. The Israeli police knew that Hamas had nothing to do with it before this war uh, started. And with regard to Hamas, Israel created Hamas in order to split um, 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 Fatah. And I, so they're responsible for Fatah. And I had that confirmed at the highest level in the, in the foreign ministry in Jerusalem some years ago. And I have to say it is astonishing to me that the West prates about democracy. Every time an Islamic government crops up around the Mediterranean, they refuse to deal with it. They subvert it. They destroy it. Where's the democracy in that? We may not like it. You know, they may be antagonistic, and my Jewish friends or my borough Israeli friends say to me sometimes, how would you fare as a gay man? in any of these, oh, I know exactly how I'd fare, but it doesn't mean that uh, it is correct to deny people the right to choose their own government. What self-respecting or sane people would allow their enemies to choose their government for them? Can you imagine it happening in this country? I certainly cannot. And America has a shameful role to play in this. Israel could not get away with these disgraceful acts of uh, international piracy and brigandage if it wasn't for the protecting shadow of the United States of America. And I condemn President Obama for his utter inaction. And I have to say I was taken a bit aback when I saw they'd added in Ukraine, which is irrelevant. It's a bit of what about really? What about Syria? What about the Congo? What about Iraq? What about everything? What we should focus on is the one thing it does, Minister, is it shows the extraordinary discrepancy. At the instructions of the Americans, we're prepared to boycott, to go in after the Russian banks, to do this, that and the other. And what do we do about Israel? We don't even mark a protest note with our vote in the, in the Human Rights Commission of the United Nations. I think that's shameful, absolutely shameful. And as I interjected, it would be better to be one country in the right than with all the rest of them in the wrong. There are no words to describe what happened yesterday in Jabalia. Six attacks on schools, and these are deliberate, I have no doubt, because you had 3,300 people sheltering there. They'd been directed there by Israel. The coordinates were given 17 times. How could anybody claim that they didn't know what they were doing? Israel's policies shoot first and weep afterwards. Oh, did we hit children? What a terrible tragedy. Nobody believes you anymore. You're doing this to exert pressure on Hamas. But I tell you this, you will not resolve this problem until, as we did in this country, you involve both of the participants. There's no point in having any kind of an alleged truce that only has one side in it. And it was laughable, the rubbish produced by the Israelis, the Americans, and the Egyptians. They didn't consult Hamas. I mean, that is just utter, absolute madness. And Tony Blair was involved in it. My God, that man is shameless, sh utterly shameless. He should keep his face out of the Middle East after, his, after what he and George Bush uh, on the other side, done. Yes, there were three mothballed schools used uh, to store weapons. Uh, but this was discovered by the UN and reported by the UN, not by the Israelis. Um, then uh, there was a situation where entire families were obliterated. In one case, 
20 members of one family slaughtered. And the children, the disproportionate amount of women and children killed in this situation is a violation of all the spiritual beauty that Judaism stands for. The respect for life, the fact that if you save one life, you save the universe. All this blown out of the window. And blown out of the window, as I saw by the arrival of 1,200,000 extremely right-wing uh, former citizens of the Soviet, of, of the Soviet uh, Union. And can I just say this? I think it's time people told the truth about what people are saying in Israel. For example, Interior Minister Edi Yishan in 2012 was saying, they're going to send the Gaza back to the Middle Ages. Uh, Defence Minister Matan Vilnai said they were going to visit the Holocaust on the Palestinians. That's Nazi talk. I'm not saying that that man's a Nazi. He's describing himself as a Nazi. Um, what to do? First of all, remove the, barrack, the, the embargo. That has to be done. Then, the Euromed agreement. I mean, there are human rights protocols attached to this. Time after time in the Foreign Affairs Committee, I've asked for this to be monitored. They won't even monitor the human rights agreements. What human rights are there when there are thousands of women and children uh, being killed and, and injured? Israeli goods, particularly in the settlement, should be boycotted. Uh, and I believe there should be an expulsion of the Israeli ambassador. I delayed in saying this, but he has his fingers in his ears all the time. And he just repeats slogans uh, from, uh, from uh, Jerusalem. One minute, thank you very much. Uh, I've had a very considerable volume of correspondence, 90% of it supporting the Israeli side. And I respect all my correspondents. But it's obviously an organized uh, campaign, uh, and they all say, uh, thank Ireland for voting the way they did at the UN. Well, that tells you. And the Israeli spokesman all mark you with South African, English, or American accents talking about the land of Palestine. They all congratulate us uh, as well. I believe that the United Nations should accept full and permanent responsibility for the welfare of the people of Gaza. And if that means an international force going in, that's fine. This country should explore the possibility of using our civilian services like the UESB to rebuild the only power station in Gaza. And if I can end on, on this, I mean cutting off the electricity to people who are squeezed into this appalling punishment camp uh, and then cutting back on the food imports and saying, and this is where I say it's nasty saying they're placing the people of Palestine on a diet. What a contempt that shows for human beings. And we should stand against that contempt and with human rights. And I'm with human rights, whether they're Israeli, gay, women, black, whatever they are. I'm not changing my position. I'm not anti-Israel, I'm not anti-Semitic, but I am pro-human rights for every human.